Hello, good morning, good evening to all you beautiful people from across the globe. How are you all? Steve Jobs opined once, Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. If you fuel your journey on the opinion of others, you are going to run out of gas, says Dr. Steve Maraboli. You see, all these great men knew what it was to listen to others speak. But when it came to decision making, they followed their own heart. We certainly cannot please the whole world or the people in it. They all have different opinions. You cannot change your situation either. The only thing you can do is to take your own final decision on anything. Because it is your life and no one else is going to live it for you other than yourself. Let's see what happens in this little story. Once, a man called Nasruddin and his son set out to the market with their donkey walking beside them. On their way, they passed by a bunch of people. Nasruddin heard some of them commenting, Man has donkey, which his son could ride easily, and yet he is making his son walk all the way to the market. Hearing this, Nasruddin picked up his son and seated him on the back of the donkey. After this, they continued their walk for a while until they passed by a group of people sitting under a tree. One of them commented, What times have come? Young man is riding on the donkey while his old father has to walk. Doesn't he have any respect for his elders? Listening to this, Nasruddin took off his son from the donkey's back and he himself got onto the donkey's back. After this, they continued their journey for a while until Nasruddin heard someone commenting, Look at this man who is so mean as to make his little kid walk and he himself is riding the donkey. How shameless! Right then, Nasruddin picked up his child and seated him in front of him on the donkey's back and continued their journey. They passed by another group of people where Nasruddin heard some of them saying, How cruel are these father and son to overload a donkey like that? They have no mercy on the poor animal. Frustrated by all these comments, Nasruddin and his son got off the donkey and decided to carry the donkey on his back. After great effort, Nasruddin managed to get the donkey on his back and continued the journey like that. On their way to the market, everyone was laughing at them, seeing Nasruddin carrying the donkey on his back. Seeing everyone laughing, Nasruddin put the donkey down and they all continued their walk into the marketplace as they had started in the beginning, all three walking down toward the market. What do you learn from this story? People will find faults in anything that you do. It is clearly not possible to please all people. So it is better to do what you know is right and to please God. On that note, this is Geeta signing off from IamMariamHere.com wishing that you take control of your own life and not let others run your life the way they want. Be the master of your own universe. Take care. Bye-bye. And a big God bless.